Hey guys, what's up? It is 20 after 3 a.m. Larry's here with me. And I got a call from Wavy Davey earlier this week who bought another set of these RCF312As from my DJ now. They had them on sale. And he told me something he discovered about them that I thought was cool. He said, Brian, take this concept and run with this. So I'm giving Wavy Davey complete props on this. So on the top of your RCF312A, there's all these little holes. These are for stacking the speakers. There's this hole here. It's actually a sticker. If you peel it off, look, there's a mounting nut there. Again, I think these are for fly points, but Larry and I got creative and tried a couple different things utilizing this cool threaded hole. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is mount a Fusion Bar 5 on top of an RCF312A. I've got this little thumb screw that came off of an on-stage stand piece of hardware that I had laying around. And this big fat washer just because... I had that laying around too. I'm using stuff that's around the house to do this. So Larry's going to go ahead and mount it. Here's the stuff, Larry. Check this out. Quick and easy, cool stuff. Simply put the washer down on there. Not only for stability for the light, but for a spacer for the particular thumb screw we have. Check that out. Bam. You've got a light on your 312A. You can aim it wherever you want. Look at that. The old Durotrust system, the problem I always had with this system was the crank stands were so heavy. So, I mean, who wants to carry those things around? The whole system's like 90 pounds. One person can barely manage it. It's long, it's bulky, it's heavy. But the truss itself is cool. So here's what you get with the Durotrust. You get this truss, I guess, what do you call it, a holder, whatever it is, that goes on top of the Duratrust crank stands. And then it has this guy right here, this thumb screw that goes through it, and this big fat washer that goes on the bottom. Check this out. Okay, Larry, our stunt double, is going to go ahead and <laughs> assemble this for us. First of all, you lay the flat washer down over the hole. Then you put the Dura Truss, I guess, truss holder, whatever you call that thing, on top of there, and then you just stick the thumb screw in. It's actually almost like it's built for these RCFs. It's amazing. It's really cool stuff. Everything just kind of fell together. The thumb screw isn't too long, it isn't too short, it's perfect. And once you get that screwed on there, you give it a little tilt. Just like that. All right, Larry the stunt double is going to go ahead and put the RCF 312As on top of the Franken stands, the hydraulic speaker stands. We've got two of them. We've got them spaced five feet apart for our purposes today. You could do a 10 foot section if you wanted to, but we're just doing five feet today because of limited space in the living room. All right, so we have our truss braces on top of the 312As. Larry, show us the five foot section of truss you got there. This is what we're going to stick up there. Look at that. Up a little higher. There you go. This way. There it is. All right, stick it up there. Let's see what it looks like. Now you have to have, make sure things are spaced apart correctly. All right, while Larry is preparing the lights, we're going to be using these right here. These are Dura clamps that work with the Dura Trust system. We're going to hang three lights from the top of that sucker. See what it looks like. Okay, we're using Franken stands. They're hydraulic speaker stands, easy up, easy down. Now, the way we're going to get this up in the air, first time ever, we've never done this before, is a little bit at a time on each side until we hit the ceiling. So, Larry's going to bring one side up a little bit, stop it, and then go over to the other Franken stand. He's going to be able to go up twice as high this time around. We're going to walk it up. How do you like being a guinea pig, Larry? It's not that bad. That looks well, a little higher. That looks even to me. Well, let's see what this looks like. There might be rattling issues once the base is going, but I don't think it's anything that a little bit of electrical tape couldn't solve just to kind of, you know, buffer the contact between metal on the truss and metal on the truss plates. We'll kick in in a second. There we go. Look at that. How cool is that? Want to come back here and look at it? 
<laughs> we only put three lights on there because of space issues. But again, with the 10 foot truss, you could put all kinds of stuff on there. And I actually really like the way that looks with the RCF, as opposed to just having tripods up at the truss. It looks cooler that way. Now, if the Dur truss concept was one that you liked, I don't see any reason why you couldn't just leave these on the RCFs. Simply just give them a turn like this. And you've got access to the handle. And even I can pick this up. And away you go. One more quick thing I want to show you. And again, these are all concepts. This is just stuff we had laying around the house and some stuff that Larry and I brainstormed on. This is an American DJ O clamp. Now, what you use this for is to mount lights on pipe, like trussing pipe or speaker stands. This is what I use to mount the jellyfish with. You can see it's all plastic. It's a nice heavy duty clamp. What you do is you take this wing nut off here, you put your light bracket on here, screw the wing nut on, and you can hang lights. So, check this out. It just so happens that this bolt sticking out here fits in here perfect. So take the wing nut off. And the washer. Here's that big fat washer that came with the Duratrust system, but you could buy this at any hardware store, I'm sure. Pop this on here, like so. And get started. There we go. It just so happens with this washer fits on like that. Well, you may be asking yourself, what's the point of this? Check this out. This is a T-bar. Now, I'm not sure who makes this T-bar, but it's a standard size pipe. I'm not sure what the diameter of that is. Some of you probably tell me. But basically, you stick this on top of a tripod and hang lights from it. Well, here, watch this. I'm going to take the center section off the T-bar. There, this part's eliminated. You can open up your O clamp. And I'll do a video on these O clamps soon. It's been requested. Take your T bar, stick it right here, and you've just made a light stand out of your RCF speakers. So there are a few interesting ideas and stuff that Larry and I came up with in just, what, a couple hours maybe? Most of the time was the setup and testing it and seeing how it would work, just with what I had laying around. But like Larry keeps saying, the possibilities are really endless with this. You can do all kinds of stuff if you had the right hardware. So if there's something you want to see us try, let us know. We talked about trying to get some different sized thumb screws and things to mount, maybe some smaller moving heads. I did do a Vizzy spot with the Omega clamp on one of these lights too. I needed the spacer. I used like a roll of tape just to see if it would work. Maybe once we perfect what the spacer should be, we'll show you that in a video. But the Vizzy's might be a little big to put on there, but I don't know. Then again, maybe not. The X-Move Plus, those would be cool. The X-Move Plus R's, I'd like to try those with the right hardware to mount them. But right now, I don't have it. But anyway, there you go. Cool concept. If you like it, let us know. If you've got ideas, let us know. If you've got speakers other than RCF that have this type of fly mount on it, let us know what they are. Until next time, practice and enjoy.